What's up, crew? Constructo, take five. Coming at you guys raw. Better get it right this time because I'm running out of fingers. Um, yo, well, first and foremost, get this out of the way. You guys check out Brother George over at GI Customs. Doing a little Johnny Cash. Oh, take a look. Got me all inspired. Vocal little man in black today. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get my neck swell on. Me in black. It's like 90 something degrees, bro. It's hot today. <laughs> so, well, let's get going. Uh, I, uh, oh, check out. I'm rolling my, my Hames hitch cane today. Um, with, uh, Petrified Cactus. There you go. Anyway. I was talking with Brother George last night, and we were like, "Hey, uh, I got to do a, I got to do a Kydex for Super C, and uh, you know, I get payment, and that's going out." He's like, "Oh, good, you know." And we were talking about that stuff. He goes, "What you doing?" I said, uh, "Large tech lock on the 080," and I'm like, oh, "You know, I'm thinking about maybe setting it up." You know, it's. 10 rivets. I'm thinking about adding one extra. He's like, what do you mean? Like, think about one and add one down to the bottom for a static cord. Cause, you know, I like it. I like that sort of thing. He's like, uh, well, I do explain. So I added one, by the way. And instead of rushing to get that one done, I'll use Chosen 7x7's blade. It doesn't have a static cord ring, but I mean, obviously, you can use any ring. And what it is, is enough. What I do is me personally, this is how I run my static core system. Guys do it different. I like doing it this way, and I'll explain it to you. Uh, but what I do is I go just about three fingers over the top of my blade, and what you do is is tie your knot. But when you when you do this, you actually will have about four fingers right at the top because uh, you know obviously your knot takes up a good you know inch of, of cord. So, get to the point. Come look down at my midsection. I've been working out and dieting. <clears throat> get rid of my my uh, feminine figure. You know what I'm saying? What it is, right? You put the knot under your belt. So it's like this. On through your belt. Open it up. Put your your knife through the cord, cinch it down so it's locked in. This is your static cord system. I run mine center line. I'll keep it on the outside of the shirt so you can see. Usually it'll be concealed. So you rip your shirt up, you grab it if you have to, either right hand or you can do the same same grab, same hold, same everything. Do left hand. Come in into your your situation where you need it. Uh, you can do it, you know, cross draw. You can do it saber draw. You can even flip it over in the same way and come right in from your appendix draw uh, and go from there. Uh, you can do anything you want with this system because it's very versatile. But also, I'm. Uh, just say this is under my shirt, I'm gimping around and I'm doing my thing and all of a sudden it's time to take off. I don't have to unbuckle my system because now we're going to sit in the car it's going to, ugh, it's going to poke me in the solar plex, right? Or that belly that I want gone, right? All I have to do is take it, slide it over, now I jump in the car, do whatever I need to do, sit down, and it's still there. It's also still there to grab if I have to. Uh, that's what I was trying to talk about. You know, a lot of you guys may like this system. Uh, you know, and start implementing it on your own. I didn't invent it, uh, but it works for me, especially where you know, in this in this ridiculous state, it has to stay concealed. I mean, it has to. Uh, a very very flat system. I mean, obviously, you know, I got a I got a tight shirt on. And untuck, untuck, 
it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Or if I need to, it's right there. So, that's my static cord tutorial today. Um, also, you know, give you um, a heads up, or um, not heads up, what's the word? Update for Super C. Bro, we are formed out. Uh, you are set up for your large tech lock. Uh, for this is the vertical, vertical, uh, got your uh, FBI can't or your, uh, it'll be like that for FBI can't, or for your, uh, your cross draw. Let me see here. There you go. Can you see it? Here. There's your cross draw. Um, the other one is, um, the other popular one is um, a scout carry. So that would be like small of back, horizontal. Um, hope you love it, brother. Oh, and of course, whoop, I got you a, a static cord hole in there. And you can see, you don't have to have a dedicated static uh, static cord hole. I can do it like this. Uh, if I wanted to, I can weave it through both your bottom or both of Chosen's. 7x7's bottom ones and have the static cord like that or just one you can do it in any of the holes you want to choose any of them to do it you know what I'm saying um, for now thank you for your time thank you thank you so much for your support I am so thankful I didn't swear <laughs> this time fifth time's a charm last time this dang Hames hitch thing bopped me right in my toe my tactical flip flops even no joke uh, got my tack flops on. <sighs> what was a constructo? Uh, I know. Uh, it was that violin? What's that? What? I heard one of you guys say it. I know it. For now, be blessed. I hope your weekend's going awesome and heading right for perfect. No joke. Out. <clears throat>